Odd device, attach the rear wheel. Wasn't useful. Can I knock off this device? And hook it up perhaps to my battery? Hmm. Pointless. It's attached to the rear wheel. Hmm. I can see the wire running along it. I could hurt myself. Probably doesn't need to be cleaned. That was eventful. That was eventful, you say? Well, I went to go get a drink. I had, instead of a drink, I came back with a cat. I would say that was quite eventful. So, uh... We checking out a bike? Yeah. Okay, so when you were gone, I, I walked up to the gate, and we have an eviction notice saying that we need to leave, which was the real reason Jerry was telling us to get the hell out of Dodge. Really? Yeah. Eviction. See, due to irregularity irregularities during its acquisition process carried over by Mr. Jerry P. Carter, you are to immediately leave the property. So, he made the comment, we're not going to get any help from Jerry, which allowed us to actually open up here and get our dead car battery, which I was coming over here, and the only place that I can think of where there's any power being generated is this bicycle, because if, it, if you push this, light comes out from up there. Right. Where I was looking, there's this strange device that's attached to the rear wheel, and its wires run up to that. So it's this device right here that is being attached to the wheel. I just gotta figure out a way to hook up the battery to it. Well, uh, it's pretty obvious. You have to oil it. Oh, yes. I, why didn't I... Ah, damn it. I, I thought you were onto something there, to be honest. Like, damn. But yeah, so I was trying to figure out a way to to get this like device off or figure out how to get this device to work on the battery, but was receiving no such luck. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna be right back. Okay. I have to go to the restroom as well, so I will be back. On the bright side, I just figured out how to hook up the battery to the bike. Right. All right. No problem. See that probably charged the battery. See, I would go to the restroom like I said I was going to, but someone's taking a shower. So that's not going to work, unfortunately. With supposedly a small charge. Well, maybe the small charge will be enough to actually get the car running at least, you know? And then after it runs for a bit, the battery will equalize. That's what car batteries do, don't they? Can I put you back in? Haha! Hurry my car with a supposedly small charge. Let's see if it'll work at least. I remember myself to leave the manor. I suddenly felt responsible for disturbing the force of the head. Up to now, lay dormant inside the house. I had to do something. Okay, I was just going to check if the car worked. I wanted to leave the place right away, but I couldn't. No, not without dealing with the present the haunt of the house. It's my responsibility now. I began debating with myself, but no. What about the future inhabitants? What if they became injured because of what I did? I would have never forgiven myself. Okay. So we're going to continue forward. Maybe I should call Jerry and call him an ass. I didn't want to speak with Jerry after the incident, and I've felt the same way ever since. It's 4 p.m. now. Um, what to do about... See, that just leads me back here. Although time has passed, so maybe I can see here now. Haha! -ha! Here we go. What are you doing? Stop. Oh, I hear a Logan. It's not okay. Ha -ha. I found the corpse. I was equally Enough. terrified and saddened upon uncovering the dead body of Catherine Blackwood. All those years, she was left to rot in this improvised tomb. No matter how you look at it, that's just not cool. What, this corpse? Yeah, looks like a pirate. Looks like it's about to look up at me and go yarg. Yarg. Well, at least I found it. I ended up, I hooked up the battery to the bike because I had to set the battery down on a box first. Heaven forbid. So, um, and then the time went by, and, uh, now he's just sitting here and he's like, well, I had to finish solving the mystery before I leave, so it won't let us actually get in the car and go. Try to pull out a tooth without success. Why do I need a tooth? I'm going to best contain my repulsion. I pulled out a tooth from the body. What if you need to make sure it's the right body? Apparently he is very positive that this is it. You gotta have a tooth to make sure. Well, I found a tooth. So, there's that. Is there a reason why I needed a tooth? Can't think of a way. Couldn't blend those items together in their current state. Oh, there is an item in the house though that blends things together that we haven't used yet. Ha ha! Hold is up. Is it a blender? It's not a blender, no. That's a sham. It's now 5 p.m. Hold on, we're getting it's somewhere. We're getting somewhere. 
the item is way up in the attic. Like, way up here. And I hear you have some chips there. I wish I had some chips. I, I was debating on going to uh, Walmart or, like, McDonald's to get some food. Because I'm, I'm actually kind of hungry. Okay, but for the record, these are definitely not chips. Oh. What, what do you happen Wolverine. to be munching on? I'm sorry, what? These are whole grains. I see. That wasn't useful. I could have swore this is what I had to use. The stove. Do I have to light it first? Since you're running anything just yet, I decided to not waste any matches. Yes, the berries. I had to be mixed up with something else. Couldn't blend those items together in their current state. That was pointless. Maybe the night? Maybe you need to cut it up? No, I could have hurt myself. See, I thought hammer, you know, like smash it up, but that was apparently pointless. Couldn't blend those items together in the current state. So these two do need to go together. It's at least telling me that much. Maybe. It could just be misleading. Yeah, true. Okay, finally putting the pieces together, I was suffering the same ailment that disturbed Blackwood and and turn Milton. First the whispers and the feeling of a presence stalking me in the house. The only possible explanation is that the curse is real and I have retrieved it with the arrival. I must do something about this. So it was true that I never retrieved it. I wonder if her soul has found some rest. Something tells me it won't. Lump in my throat, I return Catherine to her improvised tomb. So what other possibilities do I have for combining two items? I can't think of anywhere else in the house where I'd be able to do something like that. Maybe it really was a blender. I mean, it's possible. But of course, anything's possible in this game. I mean, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the reason you needed that tooth was simply so you could climb down into the basement and use it on a candle. Yeah. Would I be confused? Most definitely. Would I be surprised? No. in here no I don't see anything that would smash it together it's a lovely painting lovely artifacts I want to go into this room holy crap thank you is the mask still here yes it is okay it's Aku Aku it's Aku Aku you're right. Nothing there. Master of the mask. And the lamp. <sighs> of course, there's nothing over here. Something looked like a lion's claw was firmly attached to the necklace. Ooh, a lion's claw, huh? Yep. See, I've been able to look at this in the past and never been able to take it off, so I just assumed it wasn't something I needed. And there we go. 
I, I, I was able to get it with some pliers, I guess. My zoological knowledge has was as good as my technical experience, but I was certain that this claw definitely belonged to a lion. Can I combine that with that tooth? No. That with that? Couldn't blend those items together in their current state. What Maybe you can bash it with a hammer. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bash it with a hammer. Didn't work. Darn. Well, hammers usually aren't very pointy. Well, I mean, but they're good at smashing, aren't they? Yeah, what but it was think? pointless. Oh. Ha. Huh. Ha, ha, ha. I just... Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There was a... Uh, a shredder in the kitchen sitting on the table. Can you shred a tooth? I mean, no. I, I'm I'm grabbing at straws here. Probably can. I'm grabbing at straws here. Okay. There's something that was like making something into powder on the table. That's all I'm going I'm, off of. I'm grabbing at you, who's grabbing at straws. Look, there's this thing on the table. Okay. Oh yes, that thing. This thing. See, it made powder. So let's throw things in there. Ha, ha, ha. See? Ha, ha, and I can. Look at that. Can I throw you in there too? Hmm. That wasn't useful. Okay, probably not. <laughs> that wasn't useful. I was open and waiting for anything to be tossed inside to test its blades. There's already something inside. Oh, whoops. One thing at a time, apparently. You can only grind one thing at a time. Come on. Ha ha. Hold on. Now you. We're making progress. Now can I combine that with it? That wasn't useful. You gotta put it inside the blender now. Ha ha. Now what's this? What if I just the leaves were now mixed with dust from a tooth and a lion's claw? Mix Is that, that the with amulet? That? It doesn't we say. Have, we have dust from a tooth and a lion's claw. So we have dust from the tooth which belonged to the victim. And we have the lion's claw which belonged to the god. Right. So we have the victim and the victimizer. I mean, it's possible. And now do I go upstairs and, like, burn it all in a... in a pot? Is that, is that what I'm supposed to be getting from this? Why would he want to burn it, is my question. I don't know. Because it's a powder? And you burn powder? I don't know. It's the only thing I can think of. Leave me alone. <laughs> but your character clearly states that he's no pyromaniac. He might be, though. You know? I'll just throw that in there, why not? Well, I need to have a flat surface first. Oh, See, does this finally have a use? Can I finally use this? Ha ha! Nice. Ha ha! There we go. There we go. Look at that. I don't know what we've just done. Did that just make a rock? Did we just make a rock? It's called an amulet. We made it. We made an amulet. Oh, the music's gone strange. Stone felt warm to the touch. It was almost organic. I touched nice. the stone to the branch and immediately felt a strange sensation. The amulet seemed to be vibrating. I was ready. Let's attack the mask. So we want to go attack the mask, or do we want to go in the basement to see if the stranger is still there? Well, I mean, we have the amulet. Yeah, true. Let's go see the mask. I know I'm hearing some weird, like, ritual-like chanting. It's Which is rather amulet. disturbing. 
It could be from the, the amulet, you're right. That rock is just always chanting. Take me to the mask. Take me to the mask. Oh, there's some like background laughing, some creepy background laughing, laughing, and it's not, it's not fun. So wherever my attention is, the mask now appeared as if to defy me, challenging me to make the first move. Okay. I waved the amulet in front of the mask, and then I died. At first, nothing seemed to happen, but then the atmosphere felt lighter, as if the house had been relieved of a monstrous burden. Nothing else seemed to happen. Now let's go to the basement and check out the stranger. Yeah, I'm gonna save first, because I don't know what's gonna happen. Because that might have gotten rid of the curse, and now we just need to reverse everything. Right, right, right. Or we're just gonna roll the credits as soon as we go through here. Hello? Well, I know there's like a a, a small next chapter, right? Because there's like a... a you know how at the beginning of Resident Evil, or not Resident Evil, um, Silent Hill 2, there is play the normal game or play the Restless Whisper. I stood there paralyzed in terror as I heard those horrible noises again. They just wouldn't stop. Oh, the scratching sound. It's now 6 p.m. There's like a, a last visit scenario or something that was attached on to the end of the game. I don't know, and it's, from what I've read, it's apparently, like, the, like, really, really short. It's, like, really short. The scratching sound is clearly going to be coming from the basement, though. Hello? Should I be coming down here, yes or no? I'm getting no answers from Logan. He wants to see me suffer. And it was actually a spook. In case I didn't want to spend too much time near it. Oh, that was pointless. Huh. Kind of assumed that's what it was going for. Well, I'm all out of ideas. Uh, yeah, same. I don't know well, what what it wants me to do. That dead body again? No. Maybe we should use the uh, the amulet on it? Possibly? That wasn't useful. I'm out of matches, so I can't just light up the furnace and leave. Which I would very much have been willing to do. What if you were supposed to use the amulet on the mask two times? Mmm, I don't think that's a thing. I don't know, I'll check out the fireplace, because that's where it's coming from. That's why I came down to the furnace. Why not? We're gonna go See, to the fireplace. It's gonna be like the it was having it was having me like check out the fireplace with the stethoscope kind of thing. You know the this thing. It was having me check it out with that. What if instead of a fireplace there's a door? It's just a, a door in the fireplace instead. There's a wardrobe, and we're gonna go to Narnia. Yes, I'm down with that. This is a very strange build-up for Narnia the game. I'll be honest, I didn't expect it. Couldn't hear anything out of the ordinary. That's no good. There are no scratches in this game of scratches. You can't hear anything quiet. I can definitely hear scratches coming from here. Oh! There's a gate! A door. As I went down the fireplace, I couldn't shake the feeling of entering a forbidden zone, a place that had been and was supposed to remain forgotten in time. Oh, jeez. Passage was full of junk. Is this the other side of the furnace? It could be. There's a bunch of pipes. Pipes rusted long ago were everywhere in here. Uh, 
Oh yeah, there's definitely a room down here. I'm unlocking a door. That's never a good sign. I remembered being soaking wet and shaking in fear, yet I just had to go on and, driv and driven by an unseen force. Was that breaking the fourth wall a little bit? An unseen force, i.e. I was driving him down here. Oh... I think the disgusting teddy bear covered in mud and dirt was lying on the ground. It appeared to be bites and had ripped its neck. Suddenly the words of William Bailey concerning the body of Catherine Blackwood echoed in my head. Ripped, she would say. Okay, I don't... I can't remember that context, to be honest. There were remains of food on the table. Someone or something had been eating down here. This is where that old feeble man was hiding. The old feeble man, right. He had been hiding in this oh, room either. Oh, there's eyes. But we have an amulet. Is it a cat? Oh, nope, that's a human. Hello. Oh, you look fucked up, might I add, sir. I can't tell what's happening. I don't know either. Did I escape? Pause. But. Did I just leave? I was just like, yep, creepy dude in the basement. I'm out of here. I had just seen. I raced my car and left Blackwood Manor as quickly as possible. I'm not ashamed of what I did. That disfigured face is still stalking my nightmares, and I've never put foot inside a Victorian house ever since. But there's certainly one thing that I'm grateful for. It was thanks to my encounter below that house that I was able to finish my book and become a prolific writer. That felt rather rushed. Yeah, that definitely felt... I guess that's probably why they added the next chapter part to it. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh! Yeah, that... Hmm. After all of that, we... There was a guy. He was... came out. And we left. Is that supposed to be James Blackwood, then? He's been alive. James Blackwood was just alive in the cellar. Or, not cellar, but... Um... Like, I don't even know what that place was. It was like a... A locked up basement area, but it was under a fireplace of all all the possible that's what areas. The scratching was. Yeah, that's what the scratching was, obviously, but the scratching to get out. Mm-hmm. Scratch his credits theme, Daniel Cords. So I mean that was interesting, but it, the last two minutes felt really rushed. Everything else was slow until we found one other live person and we were out of there. Yeah, it was just like, one other person? I'm out of here. And he was just, he drove off. He was talking to Jerry while he was leaving. He was like, oh man, it's an old feeble man in my basement. Right, Scared. right, right. He was just like, there was, there was an evil man in my basement. Or not even evil, it was just a man in the basement. Special I mean, thanks to Randy. I don't know what he was doing. It didn't specifically look like he was trying to kill us. No, I mean, he like let us he leave. Give us a hug. Well, I don't know if we had, like, backed away from him and then locked him in there again. I think so, yes. It like we shut the door on him. But then again, I don't know what he was doing. How was he still alive in there? That's why his face was disfigured. He was eating himself? I mean, unless he was the one who was containing the evil... And the mask wasn't. How they were cannibalists. Yeah, it talked about them being cannibals, but think about it. Like, this this manor hasn't been used in years. That's why he was eating himself. But he looked oh, fine. His face was disfigured. Yes, but I meant, like, okay, there was nothing missing. It was disfigured, yes, but there was nothing missing. 
hope and after scene. Here we go. The door is open. So oh, no. whatever was in there escaped. 